So today's video is going to be my May Lumi box video. And I know what you're thinking. It's June now. And I know I'm actually filming this video on the 1st of June. But unfortunately, my Lumi box arrived the day after my tonsil operation. So I haven't really been up to filming until now. And like, I've not been really bad or anything in the last few days, but my voice has been like funny. It's still funny now and it's still going to be funny for a little while. So I thought I might as well film today. But today has been the best voice day that I've had so far so I thought I'd just film it especially considering I'm already late but you know what they say better late than never and here we are showing up even if it's late we're still here <laughs> we got some pretty exciting stuff in the box this month so I'm excited to have a look in it with you guys I've been wearing my hair like this for like the last two weeks like since having the operation just because it's like out of the way if I fall asleep it's not really in my way because I've just been sleeping a lot because like when you have like a ponytail or a bun I feel like if you fall asleep it's like always in the way so I just thought this was like the easiest way to have my hair to not have it in my way so that I can sleep whenever I feel the need to. So I've just got my hair like this again today just because I was like I can't be bothered doing it I'm just gonna leave it like this. <laughs> So hopefully it looks okay. <laughs> like Pippi Longstocking apparently. Anyway, let's do this. So I have a few makeup products today and also some like self-care products. I'm not going to use those obviously, but I will jump straight into the makeup products, which I'm super excited about because we got a palette this month. I'm always excited to get an eye palette. It's an eye palette. I hope you can hear me okay. I hope my voice isn't like too quiet or anything. But the palette that we got is the Lorella Cosmetics Here to Slay palette, which RRPs for $45. It is a 12 colored palette that includes warm copper tones and burgundy shades. And it is absolutely freaking stunning. Like this is such a me palette. Like I can't even, like as soon as I opened it, I was like, oh my God, I love this palette so much. It is freaking gorgeous. And it has a matte mirror too which is super handy oh my god I'm almost out of eyeshadow brushes that's not a good sign I have so many <laughs> I really need to wash my brushes okay so I'm gonna start off by taking this brush this fluffy shader brush and popping into this shade here called classy and I'm just gonna run this in my crease and over my lid just to put down a base it's gonna be very very light because it's a very light shade but I just want to pop something down I have already popped on primer as well before this and I am running it under my lower lash line as well. Okay, next up I'm gonna take a slightly more precise fluffy shader brush and pop into this shade here called No Competition. And I'm gonna pop this in my outer corners, just sort of like the start of a smoky eye. Okay, so because all these shimmers are gorgeous, I want to use all of them, but obviously I only have two eyelids and I want to do the same look on each eye. So I'm going to go, we use my fingers and go into this shade first called On Point. And I'm going to pop this on my lid, but towards the inner corner, just about a third of the way across, like so. Okay, and then with my other finger, I'm going to pop into this shade here called Bay, which is amazing. And I'm going to go from about the middle to the outer corner, just with this shade, because I love it. And we're going to blend back and forth between these two shades. So just kind of running back and forth with my finger here and going back into Bay and doing the same on the other side. I'm just going a bit wider with this too, like popping it a bit in my crease and just spreading it out, just the deeper shade on my outer corner, just because I feel like doing it and bringing it out a bit. So next up, what I'm going to do is take sort of like a pencil, sort of thin brush like this and pop into the shade Trendy and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line all the way across. And now what I want to do is also just using the same brush because I'm lazy, pop into this shade here called Success, just gently 
because there's possibly going to be some fallout and just kind of do the same just on top of that kind of like starting from the outer corners and then blending towards the center Okay, I am loving these shades and these like metallic sort of shades are uh, so freaking beautiful. So now I'm just going to pop in with this smallish sort of flat shader brush that's kind of dense. So hopefully this is okay. Into this shade called Yas Boo. And this, of course, is going to be my inner corner shade. So I'm just going to tap this in here. It's more of a glitter to be honest with you. So if you're doing this with me, be careful. <laughs> So it's gonna get glitter in my eye. I didn't realize it was more of a glitter, but you know what? It makes sense because the shimmers are all down the bottom and the mattes are all around it. So it makes sense that they put like a different sort of eyeshadow in that area. This shade is definitely giving me fallout vibes. And I'm also kind of like dabbing it a little bit on my lid as well. Not all the way across, just a little bit. I just want to pop the neck glitter. The neck glitter up there. Oh my god, it's so sparkly, I love it. Okay, I'm also just gonna quickly like dust this on my brow bone. Look at that, it's stunning. That is so glittery, but so freaking beautiful. It might be too glittery for the brow bone. I feel like this is like a festival look that we're going for, even though it's freaking winter now. And 100%, this is such a good like autumn palette, which would have been great for me to do in May, the last month of autumn. But here we are in winter, in June, doing the May Lumi box. <laughs> Oh well. So we're going to have two Lumi boxes this month, apparently, May and June. Oh, I've got, I've got glitter on most the palette now from that one shade. Okay, so next up I'm going to take this angled brush here and pop into this shade Success. And I'm going to do a like liner sort of thing on the top. We've got to be careful with this just because it's shimmery, so there's probs going to be fall out and my face is already done, so I don't really want to have to redo it. And I'm joining it to the lower lash line too, just like that. But I just, I really like these colors and I just, I felt like it would be nice to kind of like tie the lower lash line in with a liner. Oh my God, so much color, I love this. I have not done my makeup in a week since the last video I filmed. So this is really fun. I think I filmed that two or three weeks ago now. So it's not like that long, but you know, recovering from surgery has, Man, I've just been like sitting on the couch watching TV and like pretty much that. I've been editing though. I did film two videos before my surgery and I managed to get them both out. I was planning on filming more, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't because otherwise it would have been like a massive backlog of videos. I definitely feel like it would be a like really good if you're doing this with me. If you wanted to wet this eyeshadow, I just kind of don't love wetting my eyeshadows so I'm not gonna do it today especially because I'm getting away with it I think <laughs> without doing it hopefully we can keep getting away with it oh my gosh I just honestly I can't get over these shimmers they are freaking stunning okay guys I think we are done with this look I don't know what you think but I freaking love it I am obsessed with this palette i can see myself reaching for it all the time i 100 percent am just loving these freaking eyeshadows so much right now whoopsie i got foundation on my chair at the start of this video or like before i filmed this video and now there's like a dot of foundation i just realized it's probably on my pants now whoops hopefully i can get that out if anyone knows how to get foundation out of upholstery please put it down below <laughs> i will say the only thing is I don't often reach for shades this light. Ow, just put my nail in it. Just destroyed it because I probably won't use it. So I feel like both of these shades are almost kind of like, I probably won't use them very much. And I would ideally like a bit of a deeper transition sort of shade. I liked this one, but I think it was a bit too light. Like I would have liked it to be just a bit deeper. Like I like a bit of a deeper transition shade. But saying that, they're all like beautiful eyeshadows and I oh, freaking love matte purples like this. Like it's absolutely stunning. And this brown's so nice too. And just, mm, these six shades at the bottom of the palette are obviously like my favorite part 
I love shimmers. I love them so much. I love the way that they went on my eyes. I love the colors. I love that it looks like I have sort of like an autumny like leaves, like sort of sunset thing going on on my eyelids. I love it. I do really like this shade as well for a change. Like it's quite glittery as opposed to usually when I do like an inner corner highlight, I'd usually use more of like a shimmery shade rather than like a glitter glitter. But saying that, it's absolutely stunning and it works super, super well. <laughs> I'm not sure if in the future I'll keep using this as a brow bar and the highlighter. I might only use it on the inner corners, but it is gorgeous and I love it. And I love this palette and it's like one of my favorite things I think I've ever received. <laughs> Sorry, thanks, Lumi Box. I love this. <laughs> anyway, thanks me for purchasing my Lumi Box. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that is the first product done. Oh my god, it feels like it's taken a year. I'm just gonna quickly go finish off my eye makeup and I will be back to do the next product with you, which is gonna be Lance. Okay guys, so the rest of my makeup is all done now and I am loving this look. I just used a normal black mascara but I used a brown eyeliner to waterline and tight line my eyes and I feel like it tied it in really, really nicely. I'm not gonna lie, I did just mace myself with setting spray so if my eyes start watering or if they turn really red it's because i was in a hell of a lot of pain like five minutes ago so i apologize for that but let's continue with these products shall we <laughs> okay so next up we got a lip liner this is the Melu cosmetics lip pencil crayon in the shade ava which rps for 22 dollars and it is long wearing and transfer proof and it glides on fluidly and adheres instantly with a matte finish okay so let's chunk this on shall we i'm not gonna lie this is a tad pinker than i thought it would be but it is still beautiful nonetheless. I feel like this is more of a summer shade for me, but I do really like it. Okay, so next up we have a lipstick and actually the color of the lipstick does not at all match the color of my lip liner. So I'm gonna chuck it over, but I'm not quite sure how we'll go. So we will see. This lipstick is the Mellow Cosmetics Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Danger Zone, which is this stunning vibrant red, which are our piece for $25 and is a highly pigmented, richly formulated, and long-wearing lipstick that has a velvety, smooth, and moisturizing finish. Okay, I'm gonna chuck this on. I'm not sure how we'll go because this is such a different color, but let's try it. Okay, so I actually love this lipstick. I feel like it worked fine over the lip liner despite the fact that they were completely different colors but i can feel like the lip liner is probably like a good base to help it like hold on a bit better anyway like to keep the color on i can definitely feel it is very like hydrating through the lip liner like the lip liner wasn't drying or anything like that but it did not have this like moisturizing feel that the lipstick does so so far so good i really like that it's a very oh no <laughs> whoopsie uh. Can you hear that? So far, so good, like I was saying. Uh, apart from that red spot on my face. But basically, it's really nice. It's very comfortable. I really like it. It also has like a nice smell, like sweet. Oh, shoot. I think I just drew on the tip of my nose. Oh my God, I'm not having, not having a good day today <laughs> with this. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not 100% sure that it matches the look that I've created, but I mean, it's not like completely off. It kind of goes. The next products that we got in the box this month are two that I haven't used and I'm not going to use today, but I'll be sure to let you know how I go with them in the future. The first one is the Maya MYA Rose Petal Infused Epsom Salt Detox Bath Soak, which retails for $16.95. It has magnesium and sulfate, and the combination of both of these ingredients is known to stimulate detoxification pathways. So this will be lovely to use when I bath. I don't bath very often. I mean, like, have a bath, I bathe, I shower, like, once a day. Don't worry. But I don't 
ba like have a bath. Oh my gosh, I can't say it now. I don't like get in a bathtub very often, but when I do, I do like using stuff like this. The only thing is I find like stuff that has like flower petals in it, like this appears to, does not go down the plug hole and I end up having to clean the bath after I use it which is annoying. I do find that happens with like a lot of bath bombs as well. They'll like put color or like glitter on the bathtub and then you have to clean it, which is always annoying. But anyway, the last product that I received is the Lemon and Beaker Ageless Serum with Jasmine Essential Oil, which RRP is for a whopping $66. This serum provides powerful soothing, restorative and antioxidant benefits for the skin, which sounds great to me especially the fact that it's like ageless so i'm assuming it's like sort of like anti-aging which is always good i always love me some anti-aging stuff just to like preventatively or like you know i suppose not preventative anymore because like i'm getting older every day but to like you know keep me as youthful as possible for as long as possible i'm just gonna quickly calculate the entire content of the box Okay, so the entire contents of this box was a whopping $174.95, which is crazy considering I only paid $49 for this box. This is the base box, which I don't think I said earlier. And if you wanted to get 10% off your first Lumi box at all, if you were interested in subscribing, I do have a code in my below description box that will get you 10% off your first box either the premium box or the base box you can use it on either it doesn't matter but as long as it's your first box is the only thing you feel free to use it is down below if you would like it <laughs> i have to say though my favorite thing in this box was a hundred percent this beautiful beautiful palette i love it so much i am a hundred percent going to be using that throughout the year like i mean i know i said it was like an autumn palette but like you can use it whenever like it it just like the colors remind me of autumn like they inspired this autumnal look even though as i said before today that i'm filming this is the first of june so it is winter now and it's freezing it has been freezing for like the last few days in melbourne so <laughs> winter came early i mean i've been saying winter's coming for like the last two months or so so <laughs> well, maybe i've only been saying it for like the last month or the last few weeks i don't know but i've been saying it for a little time now and it's definitely here now it is so freaking cold all the time and it's horrible like i just never want to leave my house again <laughs> but anyway guys that brings me to the end of the video thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions about anything that i did or the products that i used let me know and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and if you would like to like this video and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate that too and hopefully i will see you soon i had Jasmine Prittles. Prittles. I'm just gonna quickly find my phone. Here it is in my pocket. Your. I have. You can get 10% off your first subscription box with the code in my below description box. Yes. Oh my god. It's like a wrap.